What up, YouTube? Tank Tar 20 here. Uh, finally getting to do this video for uh, Yo Show Your Hits. Um, show the love contest. What up, Ben? Thanks for a cool contest, brother. Um, gonna plug a tuber, tell you why and who I collect. If you guys don't know already, sorry. I'm doing one of these, uh, can't see the front of the phone camera things. And then uh, how I got started on YouTube, I suppose. Um, first off, I want to hit up a uh, tuber, uh, my boy Dominic, uh, Diamond Rider 619. He actually just hit me up today. Uh, I was thinking about plugging him anyway, but a uh, really cool cat, man. I remember uh, catching one of his videos or two, and, and uh, you know, I hit him up about trading a car. He's like, nah, man, I don't trade. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever, you know, and, and you know, I still kind of followed him and saw he had a really cool collection of McFarlane's with some uh, nice cards in the in the little box with them and autographs and stuff like that and um you know finally I, I i don't know if i bugged him enough or whatever but i i told him to hit me up with his with his address and uh he did and i sent him a nice little package and turned out um that his wife his pc is detroit lines which was like really interesting so i sent some stuff his way and uh for for the 49ers he collects and and for the wife's pc and he sent me some stuff back so it was really cool, like a little blind trade type of thing, and um, you know he's got some he's got some subs, he got some videos. Uh, please go check him out. I'm gonna put the link down below. Um, but really cool cat man, you know I I, I really dig it. Um, you know I don't know if the if the YouTube community dryness thing is kind of a, you know affected the the flow of traffic or whatever, but but uh, yeah he's got some recent stuff up so. Yeah, the man, man's a really cool dude. Um, now, to uh, why I collect and who I collect. Um, man, I don't even know why I collect. I just, I fell in love with football. Um, I remember back in like the early 80s, 85, 86, 87, I was like five, six, seven years old right around that time. Um, obviously five, six, seven, 85, 86, 87. And, uh, and my mom was was trying to get me into baseball a, a little bit. Like her her boyfriend at the time or whatever, had, Minnesota had just won the the World Series, and he bought me or he bought me this little like pennant thing from Minnesota Twins. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Um, and and something clicked, like just in the in let right at the end of the of the of the eighties and into the nineties, man. I started watching football. I uh, fell in love with the sport. Um, fell in love with 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 Detroit Lions. Uh, you know, I was like, oh, I'm from Michigan. I want to watch the Lions. And then I started watching the Lions, and then I started watching Barry Sanders. And dude was amazing. Um, I mean, it, it was just fantastic watching him do everything that he did, whether it was a negative play or a positive play. Obviously. Uh, you know the guy was just was out of the out of this world um, you know I, I don't think anybody is like him now or was like him before i mean i know there's a lot of comparisons between him and jim brown and gail sayers you know walter payton you you name it uh you know emma smith uh, you know I, but i think if the dude would have you know if he would have stayed on on course for another two years he would have had the rushing title in less time than any of those other guys um He's just a magnificent uh, player, magnificent person. I mean, the guy, you know, he's out of football now, but he's so connected to the to the to the sport, to the city of Detroit. Um, you know, if you follow him on Twitter, he does weekly giveaways, autographed things. I mean, he he just loves the game of football. He he loves the people. Um, you know, what really? What more can you ask? And uh, some interesting facts. Uh, his birthday. If I can find one here, uh, here we go. There's a card. July 16th, 1968 is one day after mine. So maybe that's why I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, man, I, I took out the binders, dude. I, I promise you, you will not be uh, disappointed. These are all just Barry Sanders base type cards. This is what football card collecting was back when I started collecting man just having binders of your favorite players uh, I actually 
do mine by the year. So this is like 91. All this is 89 stuff is is all rookies and things. You know, then you go into your 92s and the 93s. These are 94s. I mean, I've I've, I've pretty much took out all my doubles and everything like that. I'm, uh, this might be even 95. It's still 94. Um, basically, just trying to pick up one card of each. Um, actually, I want to show you one of my favorites. Oh, no, those are inserts. I'll show you all the inserts later. Um, this is my... These I have doubles of because I just I like the the throwback unis so I just any of those that I had I put in there. Um, I mean you could tell. I mean I've got just page after 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 page of of Barry Sanders cards. I mean you ask me who my PC is. I mean I obviously PC the Lions, but I mean I my. <laughs> got a message or something on my phone but my uh, my main pc is definitely barry he's my dog i love the guy and uh i watched him i get to i got to watch him uh play a couple games uh that was amazing it's really cool so uh back in the, now in the 2000s here there's not really a lot uh kind of wasn't collecting from right about like 99 to about 2006 so i missed a lot of years of cards but i tried to pick up what i could off of ebay and and you know at my local shop and stuff like that but you know he retired around 99 too so i think that's maybe why i took a break because i i couldn't you know i wasn't going to be able to collect my dude anymore um but here this one starts like all his insert type cards um everything that isn't like a base number card there's a couple of the ones that i had just picked up most recently those uh those wild card uh stripes it actually turned out that a lot of those cards that were in that uh that lot i did not have so i was super stoked about that um, uh, man i got so much stuff in here dude this, again these are all there's that that other one i had see i had the, the the 94 cat and bound there and then there's that there's like the promo with the clip corner on it so i mean i've got all the uh there's also like a promo here with the circle punched in it and that's the base uh trophy collection cards these are these are awesome right here throwbacks with the uh the turkey day uniforms man those are some some nice cards right there i like those too uh, but this this set was was pretty awesome to put together. It took me a little while. These are '94 uh, playoff collection. Uh, oh, it's five in the set. I I think I finished that up last year. It took me a minute, man. Uh, just I mean, I got tons of stuff. The refractors, the numbered stuff, uh, die cuts. You know, you you name it. It's in here, man. Um, and this just. This is like again. These are all just inserts from the from the 80s and 90s. Uh, just I mean mostly from the 90s because he just started in 98, so or 89. Oh, damn. Brain think. I mean, but I got some some good ones. I'm really proud of it, man. I, you know, again, it's oh, why do you guys collect base cards or whatever? As well, because this is what I grew up doing, man. I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of people nowadays are all into the the memorabilia, the autographs, the jerseys, and all that. And I got some, you know. I, it, it's hard to collect Barry anything that's memorabilia, even the even the base cars, man. They're going for tons of money nowadays. You know, people just want some out, outrageous, ridiculous type type money for them. And you know, I'm still kind of stick to my guns. You know, if I know the car doesn't doesn't cost a lot in the book, I'm not gonna pay a lot for it, even if I don't have it. I mean, I, I I like the cars, but I you know I don't I don't want to get crazy spending a hundred dollars on a card worth twenty bucks just because you know I, I need it or something. I don't really need any of it. I like to collect it. It's fun to have it, but you know that's what it is. Just a hobby. That's really cool from uh, from the uh, tops that top set. I forget what what it was called, but they like the picture and that's like a stained glass see-through car, which is pretty awesome. Uh, 
but yeah man this is this this just goes up to to uh 97 <laughs> i couldn't fit them all in one book man i mean i got the motion cards you know i got all kinds of stuff in here some uh some big uh, 97 Don Russ Studio, a couple of those, and like a, a five by seven or whatever that is. So that right there is uh, one book of my inserts, and then <clears throat> get into this other one right here. And I mean, I, you know, like I have Valentine's Day card with Barry Sanders on it, just because I think that's awesome. The dude was was just beast. That's that trifold card. The jumbo uh Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. They were they were teammates. So that's pretty awesome. And this starts uh ninety-eight. And then like see I'll I'll collect the, the base. That's the base card. And then the Topps Chrome card. And then I've got the uh Topps Chrome refractor. See I just you know, I try to collect one of each. Different parallels, gold, uh silver, pewter, uh copper, SPX. Uh, these are the die cuts. One is the silver or something like that, and that's the prism. That one's uh, number 80 of 20 or of 100. Kind of significant for me because that's the year I was born, I guess. I looked at it like that when I when I got the card. But uh, this is a cool set right here. The uh, score, complete players. If you look on the back, it uh, shows, shows him all standing up like that. Back of the cards. Some uh, top stars. All they're numbered. I usually keep you know all the all of them together. But uh, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm big on chasing the parallels, the proof, the base card. I mean, not the but not the base, but the uh, you know. I mean, like the regular insert refractor up here. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> This is one of my favorite sites from eighty from ninety eight, the uh, SPX finite set. That set was pretty dope. So yeah, so this is my berry collection. I'll keep going. I just I mean I, I just can't get enough of looking at it. I show it to the kids. They you know they don't appreciate it as much as I do because I didn't get to really see them. But I, they do they do watch them on the. Uh, on YouTube every once in a while, they're like, wow, daddy's awesome. They're like regular tops, the tops chrome, and the, uh, the refractor from the chrome set right there. These are some of the new cards, indefensible, I like flat, little flat folds open. The uh, tops, I mean, the playoff right here when he, he went over 2,000 yards. I showed that one in one of my current videos. Starting in 99. <laughs> I'm just hitting 1999, guys. I mean, there's, you know, this is a die cut version of this card. I mean, I've, this is that mini version of the card, the jumbo one I had up front in the front of this book. So, yeah, man, I've got, I've got just tons and tons. Sorry, my hand was getting tired. Tons and tons and tons of berry inserts. But, you know what? That's my man, so I got to... I gotta do it, man. I'm always looking. A couple eBay sellers that usually have a lot of stuff. I, uh, you know, I follow, and it makes it hard sometimes though, cause, cause you know, there's a lot of other people chasing these cars down too, um, especially some of the the more expensive inserts and things. I mean, I, I I've seen them go for for fifty, sixty dollars, just because they're real limited or whatever. And you know, I, again, I'm. I like collecting it, but I am uh, unfortunately not going to go crazy, crazy, crazy spending on base cards. That's pretty cool. Metal version of this uh, from the Skybox Molten Metals. Uh, got that gold team right there. That one's out of 25. 15 of 25. Another good number for me. And then... Again, the the 2,000 years, they kind of get a little scarce because I wasn't uh, really avidly collecting back then. And, you know, they kind of shorted the, out what they were producing of his cards, too. So, you know, and I got, like, 
different variations of the Calvin uh, Berry from Cosigners, the, the red, the blue, the green. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man, this is my dude. So I'm all about collecting his stuff. I appreciate and I've got a lot of help from tubers with some of this stuff that I've uh, I've collected since I've joined. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I got the P some PMGs, a little red one, a little blue one. Yeah, they're in a binder. I don't have them encased and nothing. You know, I'm not really big on doing the grading and all that stuff either, man. It is what it is. That's the 50 and the 100. I don't have the the green. So, I'd like to have it, but, you know, people want crazy money for that. So, and the, little, the little football hero set and some other stuff from this year. And this is like a Heisman Trophy set, but it has Barry in it. So, I had to put it in there right next to Vinny Testaverde. So yeah, man, that's uh, that's who I collect and why I collect. Um, you know, hometown team, best player. I mean, I've I've got uh, I've got books for Herman Moore. I mean, I've collected Johnny Morton, uh, uh, Jermaine Crowell when he was with the team, rookie. Uh, I mean, a lot of those players aren't on the team anymore, but uh, you know, I still have all their stuff and. Uh, and, you know, now, you know, I, I PC Stafford and Calvin Johnson, obviously, you know, both Lions, both uh, some of the better players. Uh, you know, I pick up their stuff. It's it's easier to get the Staffords right now than it is to get the Calvins or the Berries, I think. <laughs> but, you know, it's like if you like the Lions, I think you're PCing Stafford. Um, everybody's trying to PC Calvin Johnson. I mean, he's he's just like one of the best, if not the best receiver in the football right now. And, uh, you know, Barry Sanders, Hall of Famer, you know, pretty much, in my opinion, the best running back of all time in history. You know, what do you do? You know, you, you want to PC the guy. You want to collect some of his stuff. If You know, if you're not chasing his base cards down, you know, you're not a super collector. You're you're collecting autographs and jersey stuff and all that. And then, uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's who and what team. And then uh, how I got started. Um, so I've doing a lot of wax at the at the local hobby shop and you know back in I don't know 06 07 08 I didn't really know YouTube was was live for for boxes and yep I saw Chris at the hobby box and I seen people like talking about trading cards and I was like oh, oh that's awesome and then I uh I started looking at trades on YouTube and then I saw uh AR Falc 77 uh 7 um uh, I, obviously I, I, I saw you, Ben, you know, uh, we, we did trades, uh, man, the, every, the, all the names are slipping me right now. I mean, purple GT 22, um, that's my dude right there too, man. I, I, uh, I really enjoy talking to you, man. I hope you're feeling better. I know you were uh, fighting off a sinus thing right now. So if you, uh, get back on, on that horse, brother. Um, but yeah, uh. You know, I've made some great trades with some with some great tubers. Uh, you know, I've I've got a really nice collection of of you know notes from everybody talking about you know thanks for the trade. We had a lot of fun. Thank you for my cards. Uh, look forward to this. And you know, I was away for a little while. We had the baby, and and I had slowed down some. Um, I'm back up making some more videos, which is pretty cool. Um, I've always you know I kept watching videos. Uh, you know, I think people just go through cycles, uh, little things in their life that, you know, kind of get jaded by one or two things. You want to, you want to trade, you know, trade what you're doing in for something new. Uh, see if that will change your life a little bit or whatever. I mean, I, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I mean, the break was nice, but it's good to be back, man. It's good to see people still here, see making, you know, still making videos, uh, you know, and, and and I'm up for trading. You know, I I got. I mean, I, I think that was the biggest thing was I had so much stuff, and you know, I seen people getting things for their their PCs that you know that that you wouldn't normally get, or you know, maybe cost you a lot of money, and then you're you're, you're just trading off what you have. So 
you know what they want what they want what they collect so i, I just thought like it's a win-win you know it's a great proposition great great way to to meet people to to um to enjoy the hobby a little better because I, I don't I don't have trade nights at my at, you know at my local LCS you know my, my dude the dude straight over there we have a lot of fun I, you know popping wax and the guys some of the guys there just throw cards at you if you want them you know not physically throwing them at you but you know let you get them without having to give them nothing back or or maybe you do you know trade something off to them so I you know it's cool like that but uh you know I I wish the 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 hobby itself was was a little bit more about what I just showed you guys, you know, inserts, really cool stuff like that, not just you know, flip 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 flip. Oh, here's the hit, flip 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 flip. Here's the hit, you know, that's that's all some people really want. They just want the the hits, and you know, I can live, I can dig it. You know, that's what what is in right now. But man, you bring back some of those shiny, shiny. Uh, you know inserts the the low you know number even if they're not even numbered just they look cool and uh you know that's why i think chrome is so so cool like so sought after because it's got like something you can chase from you know it's not just that you know that hit you're gonna you know you're looking at different colored varieties and you know these cards just look really really nice so anyways man i'm running on uh running on and on another 20 minute video from me probably after I turn this thing off, but, uh, but yeah, Ben, thanks a lot, dude, uh, again, if you guys don't, uh, have, uh, Dominic signed on your team as a sub, go hit him up, uh, Domino Rider 619 really cool dude, man, so, uh, that's it for me, peace out.